Howdy, y'all. It's no bark here. I know that by now, you're all waiting with anticipation to see what the new Fallout TV show has to offer when it releases in mid-April. From what we saw in the trailer and the clips, I have to admit I think it looks better than I expected. But some things stand out as very strange to me. Look at this Yao Guai here that has been completely mauled by something or riddled with some big bullets. We know from in the Fallout games, these mutie bears are tough, but they can be killed with ballistic munitions or some type of laser and plasma gear. Now, I'm not trying to say these things are easy to kill for the average waster, especially if there is a whole group of them. Heck, I just about crapped my pants when I saw this huge group in Fallout Online. And I know that the Yao Guai Paw weapon in Fallout is deadly. Somehow. It never made sense to me how you would attack with this thing without breaking your fingers, to be honest. Like, really let's think about it logically for a second. What the hell is going on with this? Are my fingers so encased in Yao Guai flesh that they can withstand collision with pretty much anything? Basically, in Fallout, my fists and wrists are made of god darn adamantium. I'm basically wearing a power fist. All right. No bark, you dogon conspiracy. Where are you going with this? We'll take a look at this image. You notice anything that kind of looks off? Oh, that's right. It looks like a god darn Yao Guai has been able to scratch through the torso part of his power armor. Now, I ain't a biomechanics scientist or a materials scientist, but I'm pretty sure this is impossible. I mean, isn't power armor able to withstand bullets and explosives? How the heck is the bear scratching through it? I do know that we may see a moment where the bear presses his immense weight onto the power armor, but that wouldn't have caused this very obvious scratch mark. From my research, I was able to conclude that a bear could press down over 1,000 pounds of weight or 450 kg and crush a man, destroying all of his bones. I'm going to assume that a Yao Guai is similar to a polar bear in weight and size here. But even if the bear was falling off a cliff and was grabbing onto the boss trooper like something out of the Lion King to pull the trooper down, this would simply rip the bear's nails out. If anyone wants to explain to me how this is physically possible, then please feel free to do so in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say.